$25,000 Tesla EV sounds like a great deal, right? And with this price tag, the bank certainly won't be able to make things harder for us. Elon Musk has mentioned that the Model 2 will revolutionize manufacturing in the first quarter of 2025. And the company is now in the final stages of production for this model. It sounds impressive until you realize Tesla is cutting a few features to make it happen. But don't worry, while its crossover design may not be groundbreaking, its performance and real-world experience will exceed expectations for a car priced at just $25,000. There will be two versions of this affordable car, produced at Giga Texas, and one of the most anticipated features is its 300-mile range. Of course, this budget-friendly Tesla has some surprises, and today we'll dive into all the details to figure out if the Tesla Model 2 is truly an affordable option or just a stripped-down feature-limited EV designed to boost Tesla's profits. Welcome to Tesla Car World. So, how powerful are the Tesla Model 2's motors and batteries? A lot of EV enthusiasts are doubtful that Tesla can produce and sustain a car at this price point. Previously, Elon Musk claimed that the Cybertruck would be priced under $30,000. The reason for this low cost was due to its smaller battery, simplified design, and lack of steering wheel and pedals. But when it comes to the Model 2, how will Tesla bring costs down? Based on standard EV manufacturing practices, we've identified at least three strategies Tesla is using to lower the Model 2's price. Here's how they might do it. First, we believe the Model 2 won't come with full self-driving FSD as a standard feature. Unlike Tesla's more expensive models, which offer FSD for around $10,000, the Model 2 will likely not include this by default. By eliminating FSD and cutting back on other features, like rear windows or an additional row of seats, similar to the Cybercab, Tesla can lower the price of the Model 2 to around $25,000. To clarify, the Model 2 will still be compatible with FSD, but it will be available as an optional add-on rather than a standard feature. Whether the car includes FSD will be up to the buyer. Next, the Model 2 is expected to have a battery pack of around 53 kilowatt hours, keeping things more affordable while still offering a solid driving range. In conclusion, while the Model 2 is a budget-friendly option, it does come with some trade-offs. But when you consider the overall performance, the range, and the price, it might just be an affordable Tesla that many will find hard to resist. In addition to other cost-saving measures, like a more affordable motor and simpler interior, the Tesla Model 2 will still offer plenty of space for at least four passengers. However, it may have less cargo room compared to other Tesla models. As for the interior design, Tesla's signature minimalist style will likely be in full effect, with software-based controls replacing traditional buttons and switches. To keep costs down, the seats will probably use more standard materials, but they'll still maintain a modern, functional feel. One of the most significant areas where Tesla can save money is the battery pack. By reducing battery costs, Tesla can cut thousands off the price. For instance, look at the most affordable EVs in China, like the BYD Seagull, which has a 30 kilowatt hour battery and a range of just under 200 miles, perfect for city driving. It's been very successful in sales, proving that there's demand for this kind of setup. That's why we're confident that the Model 2's 53 kilowatt hour battery with over 300 miles of range per charge is a highly competitive choice in the affordable EV market. What's even more exciting is that Tesla recently shared a video showing a rendered image of the Cybercab which seems to showcase a battery pack using 4,680 cells. Experts think that the Cybercab might use LFP-based 4680 battery cells, which could help reduce costs for future Tesla models as well. If the Model 2 ends up using this type of battery, it wouldn't be surprising at all. The 4680 battery is Tesla's most advanced cell, designed specifically to cut EV production costs. By manufacturing these batteries in-house, Tesla not only reduces expenses, but also ensures that it qualifies for new government incentives supporting domestically produced EVs. This is a win for consumers, as it helps keep the prices competitive. Under new U.S. government policies, a 25% tariff has been placed on imported cars and semiconductors, along with an additional 10% tax on imports from China. These measures are meant to counter the cost advantages Chinese EVs have due to government subsidies and other financial support. By producing vehicles entirely in the U.S., Tesla can avoid tariffs, 
ensuring that the Model 2 remains as affordable as possible for American buyers. If Tesla decides to use LFP batteries for the Model 2, it wouldn't be a controversial decision. This battery technology is already used in about 70% of Tesla's vehicles. If Tesla can shift LFP battery production for the Model 2 to the US, instead of importing them from China, it would also help the vehicle qualify for key government incentives. In terms of performance, the Model 2's 53 kilowatt hour battery has been confirmed, which will provide a range of approximately 250 to 300 miles. One major advantage of the Model 2 is that it is expected to be about 30% lighter than the Model Y, which will enhance its overall efficiency. Elon Musk has mentioned that a 300-mile range is more than enough for safe driving without worrying about supercharger access, and most Tesla vehicles aim for that benchmark. Even if the Model 2 falls slightly short of 300 miles, many buyers would likely accept this trade-off, especially if the final price stays around $25,000 before any potential tax credits or subsidies. Another standout feature of the Model 2 is its impressively fast charging time. The 53 kilowatt hour battery can be fully charged in just 15 minutes. While LFP batteries don't provide the highest performance, they offer several benefits. Faster charging, improved safety, longer lifespan, and most importantly, the lowest production cost on the market. Regarding the powertrain, the Model 2 is expected to come in two variants with different motor configurations. Similar to other Tesla models, the base version will likely feature a single motor to keep costs low. This could be the new motor Elon Musk previously mentioned, which doesn't require rare earth materials, making it both cheaper and lighter. In fact, Tesla's new drivetrain is estimated to cost just $1,000 to manufacture, significantly lowering production costs. But keep in mind, having a single motor doesn't mean the Model 2 will be slow. This setup should still deliver solid performance. When it comes to acceleration, the rear-wheel drive Tesla Model 3, for example, can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 5.3 seconds. The Model 2, with its lighter battery pack and improved aerodynamics, is likely to offer similar impressive acceleration. Tesla is also working to reduce the amount of wiring in its EVs. All new Tesla models will use a 48-volt electrical system instead of the traditional 12-volt setup. This change allows for smaller, lighter wires and eliminates the need for many traditional wiring components, further reducing both weight and production costs. As for the design of this affordable EV, it will differ from other Tesla models. First and foremost, the Model 2 is expected to have extremely high demand, something even Elon Musk has confirmed. He mentioned that Tesla is working on a low-cost electric vehicle to be produced in very high volumes and that the manufacturing revolution behind it is well underway. Tesla is known for keeping details about future products under wraps, and the Model 2 is no exception. There aren't many details available yet, other than the fact that it will be a compact crossover. While we won't speculate too much on its design, we can analyze what has been confirmed so far. Elon Musk has confirmed that the Model 2 will be built on an existing platform, which gives us some insight into its design. It will still follow Tesla's signature design language and will essentially be a smaller version of the Model Y. Interestingly, many people aren't too concerned about the Model 2's design. They care more about its performance and the $25,000 price tag. This means that even if the car's design isn't particularly bold or groundbreaking, it will still attract plenty of buyers thanks to its great value. After all, for many, performance and affordability are the key selling points. Are you someone who values affordability and features over aesthetics when it comes to the Model 2? If so, let us know by giving us a like to show your support and that we're on the right track. We appreciate your ongoing support and companionship. As we've mentioned before, Tesla has yet to introduce a truly budget-friendly vehicle, making the Model 2 an even more logical move. This is especially true given the growing demand for compact cars which are typically more affordable than larger models. Outside the US, the demand for affordable EVs is even higher, particularly in markets like China and Europe. This is why Chinese EV manufacturers are heavily competing in the low-cost segment. A few months ago, a grainy, low-resolution image of a compact two-door EV began circulating online, rumored to be the Model 2 in development at Tesla's Giga Berlin factory. While this wasn't an official Tesla image, 
Many believed it was a legitimate leak showing a compact prototype about 30% smaller than the Model Y parked next to it. Based on what we know, this theory seems to fit best with the Model 2. However, since then, there have been very few additional leaked images of the vehicle. This isn't surprising. Tesla is known for keeping details of its upcoming models under wraps. Vehicles like the Cybercab, Cybertruck, and Model Y were all kept secret, with their designs not being revealed until the official unveiling. Tesla even tests cars at night to avoid paparazzi, and prototypes are often heavily camouflaged. So until the Model 2 is officially revealed, no one can say with certainty what it will look like. That said, we believe the Model 2 will likely be a compact version of the Model 3 and Model Y, rather than resembling the Cybercab. Minimalism doesn't have to mean boring, though. Tesla has learned a lot from the Cybertruck's controversial design and won't go down that path. We can expect an upgraded design for the Model 2 with key features such as light bars, aerodynamic enhancements, specialized tires, and other elements specifically designed for a compact EV. As for proving that the Model 2 is in production, we won't dive too deep into the product roadmap as that's not our focus here. While the official product announcement events are still reserved for later, Tesla is committed to delivering a more affordable model in the first half of next year. Although the company has announced the Model 2's launch timeline, many remain skeptical due to Tesla's history of delays. Most of its vehicle releases have been pushed back by anywhere from 16 months to three years beyond the original projections. Because of this, many assume that the Model 2 won't arrive for at least another two years, if not longer. However, based on the latest updates, there's reason to believe it could come sooner than expected. Currently, reports suggest that the exterior, interior, and chassis of the Model 2 are nearly finished. Unlike the Tesla Cybercab, which faces extensive regulatory hurdles related to autonomous driving, the Model 2 doesn't have those challenges and only requires minor adjustments. This makes it possible for the $25,000 EV to hit the market much sooner than anticipated. In short, its production process is much simpler. The Model 2 will initially be produced at Giga Texas, with long-term plans to scale production to tens of millions of units, aiming for up to 10,000 cars per week on the same production line as the Model Y. Production will eventually expand to China and Giga Berlin. At first, the Model 2 will be produced as a hybrid version at Giga Texas, essentially a smaller version of the Model Y. Giga casting technology will play a key role in mass producing these vehicles efficiently. Currently, Giga Texas focuses on producing the Model Y and Cybertruck, both of which use advanced Giga casting technology. Reports indicate that a 6,000-ton Giga press is used for the front and rear body sections of the Model Y, while a 9,000-ton Giga press is used for the Cybertruck. The Model 2 is expected to utilize the same casting technology as the Model Y, streamlining production and reducing costs. With the efficiency and cost savings that Giga casting offers, we're confident that the Model 2 will follow suit. This is a major factor in Tesla's ability to deliver an affordable electric vehicle priced at just $25,000. It's clear that Giga casting is key to making this price point possible. Currently, every Tesla EV comes in at least three different configurations. Tesla's current models are offered in three variants, standard, long range, and performance. While the Model 2 may not have all three options, we strongly believe it will come in at least two versions, a standard range and a long range model. As we've mentioned, many potential buyers are more focused on the Model 2's performance and affordability than its minimalist design. Elon Musk's decision to produce the Model 2 at Giga Texas was a smart move, allowing for an earlier launch in the first quarter of 2025, as confirmed during Tesla's Q4 earnings call. Without this pivot, we might have had to wait until 2026 or even 2027 to see the vehicle hit the market. Initially, Tesla planned to manufacture the Model 2 at its newest Gigafactory in Mexico. However, construction delays, labor disputes, and challenges with relocating employees have slowed progress. As a result, Musk turned to Giga Texas, which is now set to take on this production. The initial production target for the Model 2 at Giga Texas is expected to be around half a million vehicles per year. Musk mentioned, I think the revolution in manufacturing that will be represented by that car will blow people's minds. It is not like any car production line anyone's ever seen. While the Model 2 is easier to produce compared to other Tesla models, 
Reaching a goal of assembling 4 million affordable EVs annually seems quite ambitious, given Tesla's current circumstances. However, production could ramp up, and by 2026, the company may distribute Model 2 production across Giga Texas and other factories. Interestingly, the 2025 to 2026 timeframe aligns with when other EV manufacturers are planning to launch their own budget-friendly electric vehicles, priced under $25,000. While Tesla's affordable EV is highly anticipated and expected to launch in the first quarter of 2025, depending on progress at Giga Texas, additional production will likely happen in China and at Giga Berlin, potentially starting in 2026 after the Model 2 production line at Giga Texas is fully stabilized. Following that, Tesla will look to expand Model 2 production at its other facilities. The Tesla Model 2 could be Elon Musk's riskiest move yet, especially with Chinese automakers already dominating the market with ultra-affordable EVs. Is the $25,000 Model 2 too little, too late for Tesla to maintain its lead? We hope you've learned more about the Tesla Model 2 after watching this episode. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and join the Next Gen Theories family by subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to tap the bell icon so you never miss any of our exciting videos. We truly appreciate your time and feedback. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.